We navigate through life as both spectators and performers, engaging in a delicate dance of social interactions. Much of this dance goes unspoken, concealed behind our expressions and gestures. Yet, each day presents a stage where subtle truths and hidden secrets emerge, for those who know how to see them. It's not just about exposing deception, but understanding the profound language of what's left unsaid, and the silent symphony of concealed emotions. Mastering this art of reading between the lines is more than insightful, it opens a path to deeper connections and a richer understanding of human nature, today, we will decode this silent language together. Drawing from the ancient wisdom of Stoicism. We will explore how to see beyond the masks people wear to uncover their true selves. This journey won't just change how you see others, it will also deepen your understanding of yourself. Join me as we unlock the secrets of truly seeing beyond the surface, where real conversations begin. If you appreciate this exploration, I ask for a simple favor, hit the subscribe button and stick with us throughout this journey. Don't skip any part of the video, as every moment is filled with insights that might shift how you perceive the world, one powerful technique taps into a basic human desire, to be heard and understood. By simply saying, tell me more, you offer the other person the space to share openly. Without fear of judgment or interruption. This simple act can transform how they perceive the conversation and, more importantly, how they engage with you. They're likely to share more than surface details, venturing into personal experiences, beliefs, and even vulnerabilities. I found that using, tell me more, isn't just about gathering information, it's about building trust and rapport. During emotionally charged discussions or when the topic is personal, these words can act as a calming bomb, subtly signaling that you're there to listen, not to judge. The dynamic shifts when someone feels truly heard, they become more open, revealing insights into their motivations and perhaps sharing vulnerabilities they usually guard, in both business and personal negotiations, this method can be particularly effective. By continuously encouraging the other person to elaborate, you uncover not just the factual basis of their stance, but also the emotional and psychological foundations behind their arguments. Practicing this technique isn't about manipulating the conversation, it's about creating space for genuine dialogue. It requires setting aside your own ego and truly engaging with the other person's essence. This is the art of conversation, seeing and hearing people as they are. Not as we want them to be. Through this understanding, we foster connections that are deeper and more meaningful, this method also aligns with the principle that true character is revealed when a person believes their actions bear no consequence. For instance, consider a colleague who's all smiles in the boardroom but becomes cold or authoritarian as soon as they step outside. These shifts in behavior offer insights into their true nature, often concealed behind a professional or charming facade. Observing such changes reveals not only how they treat others but also what it suggests about their self-perception and values. People who are secure and genuinely respect others tend to interact consistently. Regardless of social or economic status. Conversely, those who treat others differently based on perceived rank may be grappling with personal insecurities or a desire to assert dominance. This behavior often acts as a defense mechanism, projecting strength to mask deeper vulnerabilities. By adopting a stance of non-judgmental observation, you can piece together a more complete picture of someone's character. This approach isn't about making judgments or forming biases, but about gaining insights that guide how you engage with them, influencing decisions in areas like trust, collaboration, and deeper personal or professional relationships. For instance, Someone who appears overly guarded in relationships may not just be naturally shy, perhaps past betrayals or disappointments have taught them to build walls first, ask questions later. Or consider someone who bristles at even constructive criticism, it could stem from an upbringing where harsh criticism shaped their defensive posture in adulthood. Understanding a person's past is not about labeling them but gaining a deeper, more empathetic insight into their behavior. While it doesn't excuse negative actions, it sheds light on their origins, which can be crucial for fostering better communication and smoother interactions. For example, 
knowing that a colleague's combative nature might be a defense mechanism can help you approach conflicts more constructively, aiming for reassurance rather than escalation. Furthermore, recognizing the impact of past experiences is about more than predicting behavior, it's about compassion. When we see how someone's past influences their present, we can interact with greater kindness and less judgment. Realizing that we're often engaging not just with the person in front of us, but with the echoes of their experiences, one of the most revealing aspects of communication isn't just what people say, but how they say it. Sudden changes in tone can act as windows into a person's internal world, signaling uncertainty, emotional conflict, or attempts to conceal something. For example, if you're discussing a project with a typically upbeat and confident colleague, and their voice suddenly softens, slows down, or wavers, these tonal shifts might indicate they're less confident than they appear. Such involuntary changes are the result of increased cognitive load, especially when someone feels uneasy or deceptive. These shifts, though subtle, are critical in enhancing your understanding of the conversation, recognizing these signals goes beyond catching someone in a lie, it's about understanding their levels of comfort, confidence, and sincerity. Being aware of these shifts allows you to navigate conversations more skillfully, asking the right questions or providing reassurance when needed to encourage a more open dialogue. When it comes to truly understanding someone, it's often in their unguarded moments, when they believe no one is watching, that their true character is revealed. Whether they're interacting with a pet, choosing a snack at the grocery store, or folding laundry, these everyday moments can offer a clearer picture of who they are. For example, someone might be the gracious host at a party, all smiles and politeness, but how do they treat the staff when the guests have left? Are they respectful and appreciative, or dismissive? These seemingly insignificant actions can reveal a lot about a person's respect for others and their sense of responsibility, this type of observation isn't about spying or making snap judgments. It's about recognizing the importance of everyday, less polished interactions that contribute to a holistic understanding of a person. By appreciating these moments, you can form more accurate assessments and build relationships grounded in genuine understanding rather than curated personas. Emotions, too, offer profound insights into a person's internal world. They are raw responses that cut through the facades we present, providing a glimpse into what truly drives us. For example, if you're in a meeting and a proposal is introduced, the way people react, whether with enthusiasm, indifference, or frustration, can reveal their deeper values, such as their comfort with change or their need for stability. Recognizing these emotional reactions, especially the reasons behind them, can help you better understand the people around you. For instance, if a friend consistently becomes distressed over minor schedule changes, it might indicate that stability and routine are crucial to them possibly due to past instability in their life. This understanding allows you to approach future interactions with greater sensitivity, fostering smoother relationships and avoiding unnecessary friction, similarly, paying attention to positive emotional cues, like what brings someone joy or excitement, can reveal their passions and what truly makes them happy. This kind of insight can deepen your connection with them, as you're able to engage more meaningfully with what they care about most, the language of body movement is another silent dialogue that can reveal emotional states and intentions. Small gestures, like crossed arms or mirroring someone's posture, can tell you a lot about how they feel. For example, crossed arms are often seen as a defensive posture, signaling that someone is closed off. However, context is key, sometimes it's just a casual stance or a response to a cold room. Mirroring, where one person subconsciously mimics another's body language, indicates rapport and comfort. Eye contact, too, plays a significant role in communication. Direct eye contact typically signals trust and engagement, while avoiding eye contact may suggest discomfort or hesitation. However, cultural differences can affect how eye contact is perceived, so it's essential to consider the context. Active listening is another crucial aspect of genuine connection. It involves more than just hearing words, it requires understanding, interpreting, and responding thoughtfully. Good listeners don't listen just to respond, they listen to truly understand, 
which builds trust and respect in conversations. In contrast, frequent interruptions or distraction can signal a lack of genuine interest. Observing these habits can help you gauge how much to share with someone in future interactions. When someone avoids certain questions or changes the subject abruptly, it reveals what they might be trying to hide, consciously or unconsciously. Recognizing these moments allows you to approach the conversation with sensitivity, knowing that they may be protecting something personal or private. In scenarios that require trust and transparency, identifying this avoidance can be critical in navigating the relationship effectively. Finally, over-explaining can also be a sign of insecurity. When someone provides more details than necessary, they might be trying to reassure themselves or you. Preempting any challenges to their position. This behavior often stems from a desire for self-assurance, but it's important to approach these situations with empathy, as not everyone who over-explains is being deceptive. Some people simply communicate in a more detailed manner due to their personal style. Sometimes, the tendency to over-justify stems from a deep-rooted need for validation. For example, someone who's frequently questioned or doubted in the past may have developed this habit as a defense mechanism. They're not necessarily trying to deceive but rather overcompensating to avoid criticism or skepticism, take a situation where a colleague is explaining why a project didn't meet the deadline. Instead of providing a concise explanation, they go into great detail about every obstacle, every delay, and every minor issue that came up along the way. While this could indicate an honest attempt to be transparent, it might also suggest that they feel insecure about the reasons for the delay and are attempting to shield themselves from potential blame. By recognizing when overjustification is at play, you can guide the conversation towards clarity. Instead of letting the person continue to build their wall of explanations, you can ask targeted questions to cut through the noise and get to the heart of the issue. This helps in maintaining focus and understanding while also putting the other person at ease by showing that you're not looking for exhaustive reasons, just an honest one, reading between the lines of silence, often, what isn't said in a conversation can be just as revealing as what is. Silence can be uncomfortable, but it's also a powerful tool. The way someone handles silence speaks volumes about their comfort level, confidence, and even their emotional state. In conversations, when a topic hits a sensitive nerve, some people might respond by suddenly going quiet, pausing for longer than usual, or changing the subject entirely. Silence in these moments is telling, it signals that something significant is being withheld or that the person is struggling with how to respond. For example, during a negotiation, if you propose a condition that the other party finds unacceptable but doesn't want to outright reject, they might pause or shift the conversation to a different point. Recognizing this moment of hesitation can give you insight into their internal conflict. Instead of pressing them further or filling the silence with more talk, allowing the pause to linger can encourage them to share their real thoughts or concerns, observing repetitive behaviors and patterns, another key to understanding people on a deeper level is noticing recurring patterns in their behavior. Often, it's the consistency in how someone acts, especially over time, that reveals their true character. Repetitive behaviors can reflect deep-seated habits, values, or unresolved issues that someone carries with them into various aspects of their life. For instance, someone who frequently cancels plans at the last minute might not just be disorganized, they might struggle with anxiety or have difficulty committing to social situations. Conversely, Someone who regularly goes out of their way to help others, even when it's inconvenient, might be driven by a deep sense of empathy and responsibility. By paying attention to these patterns, you can understand not just isolated actions but the underlying motivations and emotional triggers that drive them. This helps in forming a clearer picture of the person you're interacting with. Allowing for more nuanced and meaningful relationships, the power of empathy in understanding others, ultimately, the goal of interpreting unspoken cues, reading body language, and observing behavior patterns isn't to control or manipulate, it's to cultivate empathy. By seeing beyond the surface, we can better understand the emotions, experiences, and struggles that shape the people around us. Empathy bridges the gap between individuals, fostering connections that are built on mutual understanding rather than assumptions or stereotypes.
When you approach interactions with the intention of understanding rather than judging, you create space for authentic dialogue. People are more likely to open up and share their true selves when they feel they are being seen and heard for who they are, not just for how they present themselves. Empathy doesn't mean excusing negative behavior, but it does mean considering the context behind someone's actions. It's about seeing the human behind the mask, recognizing the complexities of their experiences, and responding with kindness rather than criticism. With this in mind, let's dive deeper into the process of decoding these silent conversations. Each small shift in tone, posture, or behavior provides a window into a person's inner world. Through careful observation and a willingness to engage with compassion, we can transform our interactions and develop a richer, more nuanced understanding of those around us, unlocking the hidden language of human connection. By now, you can see that understanding the unspoken side of communication is not about gaining an advantage in your interactions. It's about forging deeper connections and fostering more meaningful relationships. When we truly listen, observe, and engage with the intent to understand rather than respond, we unlock a new dimension of communication, one that transcends words and touches on the essence of human nature. Whether in personal relationships or professional settings, mastering this silent language allows us to connect with others on a more profound level. We move beyond the surface, past the masks people wear, and into the heart of who they truly are. It's an ongoing practice that requires patience, empathy, and an open mind, but the rewards are immense. When you approach interactions with the intention of understanding rather than judging, you create space for authentic dialogue. People are more likely to open up and share their true selves when they feel they are being seen and heard for who they are, not just for how they present themselves. Empathy doesn't mean excusing negative behavior, but it does mean considering the context behind someone's actions. It's about seeing the human behind the mask, recognizing the complexities of their experiences, and responding with kindness rather than criticism. With this in mind, let's dive deeper into the process of decoding these silent conversations. Each small shift in tone, posture, or behavior provides a window into a person's inner world. Through careful observation and a willingness to engage with compassion, we can transform our interactions and develop a richer, more nuanced understanding of those around us, unlocking the hidden language of human connection. By now, you can see that understanding the unspoken side of communication is not about gaining an advantage in your interactions. It's about forging deeper connections and fostering more meaningful relationships. When we truly listen, observe, and engage with the intent to understand rather than respond, we unlock a new dimension of communication, one that transcends words and touches on the essence of human nature. Whether in personal relationships or professional settings, mastering this silent language allows us to connect with others on a more profound level. We move beyond the surface, past the masks people wear, and into the heart of who they truly are. It's an ongoing practice that requires patience, empathy, and an open mind, but the rewards are immense. In closing, if you find value in this journey of discovery and wish to continue exploring the depths of human connection, I invite you to subscribe and stay with us throughout this transformative experience. Every moment we spend learning about the art of silent communication brings us one step closer to seeing the world, and the people in it, with greater clarity and understanding, thank you for being part of this journey, and I look forward to unlocking more insights together.